the battlefield for the Battle of Fair Oaks or Seven Pines. It's May 1862 and it's 8 a.m. in the morning and right now what you see is basically the Union has one division that has been deployed that the Confederates know about and the Confederates occupy a band of woods all the way around that Union position. The Confederate objective is to push the Union off of the field and capture a railroad station called Savage Station um, to the far east. Richmond is basically north of the battlefield here and uh, that's what you see. So tomorrow morning, about uh, 9 o'clock in the morning, there'll be 10 uh, people here to reenact the Battle of Fair Oaks to see if they can get results that are comparable to the historic outcome. Sitting by the roadside on a summer's day Chanting with my best mate, passing time away Lying in the shadows underneath the trees Goodness how delicious seeing Gilbert feet Passes, the soldiers have a room to cry off in their loudest. Mystery, here's your view. But another pleasure, enchanting earn than these, is wearing out your grinders, eating Goober's bees. Bees, 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 eating Goober's bees. Goodness, how delicious, eating Goober's bees. fought battle. Um, the Union ended up winning the battle um, by a few victory points. However, the Confederates had some very bad luck um, in their main assault in the southern part of the battlefield. The uh, uh, Union held their positions and uh, the Confederates just had horrible dice rolling and as a result they took very heavy casualties and failed to take objectives that they needed to take. As one example, there was uh, several assaults on a three-gun battery, and uh, during the melees that followed, um, a Confederate brigade commander was killed, one of their regiments routed, and all three batteries remained intact, even though basically half their crews had been killed. Um, they did succeed in holding the position. As a result, the Confederates couldn't advance fast enough and Union reinforcements began pouring in from Heinzelman's Corps at Savage Station and Sumner's Corps uh, north of the Chickahominy. Um, Sumner had ordered his men to cross the bridges. Even though the bridges were underwater and rickety, um, the troops did actually cross and uh, made it into the battle at, when we decided to call the game after uh, 15 turns. So basically five hours of actual fighting took place on the tabletop with a very similar result to what the historical outcome of the battle was. All right. And who can we blame for, uh, for that uh, drastic change? Oh, Chad. Chad um, pretty much holds all the responsibility for the Confederate defeat on his shoulders alone. Very good. 